Hey, are you wondering what herxing during Lyme disease is? What it looks like? What the experience is like? Well, in this video, I've recorded my experience with my Herxheimer reaction. Sublime 77. My name is Regina Stoneham, and I'm a Lyme warrior. Sublime 77. Hey guys, I'm really, really reluctant to do this, um, but I think it's important that you get to see all the different parts of me. And this is, right now, is really, really, really hard because I'm herxing. And it's just really crazy because I was making a video yesterday about herxing and just the day after I start to herx. Um, I wanted to tell you about my symptoms so you could see them firsthand and know that you're not alone. This is what's great about YouTube is that it helps me feel like I'm not alone in sharing my story and my experiences. And knowing that you're not alone, too. Uh, so, I felt it coming on last night. And I just started to get environmenter, environmenter, environmenter. I just started to get um, environmental overload. And... I think that's one of the first signs for me. Um, so I was uh, editing a video and I was start trying to record yesterday. I think I did like way too much on top of taking care of kiddos and, um, and stuff. So, um, yeah, so the environmental, so what was happening is like, I was like editing, but my brain was like pretty much saying it was like too much information coming in too many colors too many too much movement um this i had to keep turning the sound down it was too loud um eventually by the afternoon i was in bed um rolled up in a ball and holding on to dear life because I felt really dizzy and um, and just sick. So um, I knew right away that I needed to um, start to detox even more. Um, so my symptoms are, I don't know, you can see my, can you? You see, my eyes get swollen, really swollen. Um, I feel uh, dizzy, and um, I kind of feel like my head is really, really heavy on my shoulders. Um, I also um, have a hard time speaking sometimes. Like, I, my brain is going, my brain is thinking, but it's hard to get things out of my mouth. It's like that they're not communicating very well. And also, I lose my train of thought quite easily. Um, so, same about my body. And then the neck pain is indescribable. It's so bad. And I know what it is. It's the inflammation of the muscles pushing against the bones which pushes against the spinal cord and all of that makes it really really painful um, I don't have a headache I, I did a little bit but I didn't ha I don't have that bad of a headache um, I feel like I have the flu um, 
it feels like um kind of like your body is probably like your body it feels like your body like my, well not your body not your body but it feels like my body is like 50 pounds heavier than what it is it's like dragging a sack of potatoes around um it just feels really really heavy and it's hard to move and when I do move my muscles burn and um and they ache and um they spasm and just in random places the weird twitches will twitch in random weird places and spasms and stuff so um I do get a little bit of a sore throat and a really really bad really bad itchy right ear like I could keep scratching it until it bleeds that's how bad it itches um, of course you see I'm exhausted and it's not just regular exhaustion it's extreme exhaustion um, I feel very nauseated so I had to take some ginger because everything is spinning and um, what else uh herxing sucks um oh I know like another weird okay so I don't know if you guys feel this but um your body feels like extremely exhausted and it's in a lot of pain and you feel like you just want to die but like there's a part of your brain that just won't shut off and it's like it's like it won't stop thinking so you can't like for me I'm sorry like I can't I can't rest like I can't go to sleep because that part of my brain is like racing and thinking all these different like random thoughts like I woke up this morning to go to the bathroom it was like four o'clock in the morning and I wanted to go back to sleep right after but when I sat down on the toilet bad bad Leroy Brown started like the song started in my head and it was just so weird and so random and I could hear Jim Croce like so clearly and I was just like what and then I came back to lay down in bed and I was feeling really really bad and the song wouldn't stop playing and I just wanted to go to sleep <laughs> oh my gosh just this random like almost like you're in a dream state and your dreams are keeping you like awake like those kind of weird like random thoughts I don't know um, and then there's another part of my brain that's like, it feels like it's p being poisoned. I don't know how that, like, it's like a poison feeling where you just want to go to sleep really, really bad. But then there's that other part of my brain that won't let me. And it's torture. So, um, yeah, so I just got done taking an Epsom salt bath. And uh, hopefully I'll be feeling a little bit better. I took my supplements. I took my antibiotics. Um, I took my CBD oil and my Indian pipe. So um, that's the best that I can do for myself. And John had to stay home from work today because I can't function to take care of my four-year-old and that stinks really really bad I think that's one of the hardest parts about like when you're in the middle of a herx not you me like when I'm in the middle of a herx is uh, 
I'll feel so, so sick and just be in bed and, and stuff. And then, like, I'll really miss being with my kids. I really miss just hearing them laugh. I mean, I can sort of hear them laugh, but I don't know. Just being a present with them and just being able to snuggle and cuddle on the couch and just be there with them and I really really miss that it makes me sad and um yeah so I wanted to talk about the psychological effects of herxing and I think I'm gonna do like a separate video on that but the psychological effects are probably worse than the actual like symptoms now like but it's not like a constant thing like the symptoms are pretty much like a constant they're like it's like constant nerve pain constant pain constant you know nausea unless you take supplements and you know vitamins and stuff like that to help with it it's like a constant thing while you're herxing but the psychological damage is I want to say psychological damage so like the psychological aspect of it it it's in your mind you know and it's it plays on your emotions and so it comes and goes in waves um, I'll feel like um, I put my fighter hat on and is there a fighter hat or I'll put my fighting gloves on and I'll be like okay this is a herx all right let's you know go through the the plan and um, you know and go through the checklist and take care of myself and you know lay in bed and rest and get as much rest as you can and then all of a sudden like I'll start to think about my kids or start to think about cross or night and then I'll start to feel really sad and then that'll that thought will take me into you know feeling even sadder and feeling guilty about not being able to be there for them and and then I start to think about my past, about all the times that I felt guilty in my past. And it just like, ugh, it just drags you down. And then you got to like get out of that and you got to start, you know, like I'm talking about to me about myself that I have to like get out of that and start talking positive to myself and either watch something that's uplifting but if I can't handle all the sights and sounds I will um, try to have a talk with my husband and you know I will try to pull myself out of that but then you know when your body's not feeling well your brain's not going to feel well either so you know I'll feel good for a while and then bam I'll go back down and it's a constant falling down emotionally and then having to pick yourself back up and not only trying to heal your body and get through the herx um you have to do the same thing emotionally and it's really really hard it's really hard but um think that maybe by you guys seeing this you will know that they're not alone and maybe I can help you in any way because I really really want to help you and um, by me helping you you're helping me because I was born to help and to make people laugh and to make people feel better and when I do that for others then I start to feel better what gets me out of this herx faster is identifying what my symptoms are addressing them physically and emotionally uh, knowing that it's only gonna last for a short time 
and having a goal to look forward to and to work forward to. So, um, my goal is doing this YouTube channel, so I'm really happy about that. Um, very hopeful, but guess what? I've got to lay down and try to get this brain to shut off. And <clears throat> I sound like a frog. Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> so I'm going to leave you here. And I hope that, um, that you can get through your hercs too. And um, I will talk to you soon. Hopefully feeling better in some makeup. With some energy. Yay. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. Hugs. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. Question of the day. When you herx, what are your experiences? How do you deal with it? Do you have any tips on how to get through it? Please let me know in the comments down below. Some of our best comments and tips come from the Sublime 77 community. And definitely, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you like what you saw and appreciate it, please like it, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear some feedback from you. And remember, keep fighting, Lime Warrior. You are not alone.